Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here, bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Alright guys, I'm sorry I have not been uploading lately. I've just been really, really busy with school, and it's going to be about this way for the next couple of months or so. So I'll only have about two or three Faction episodes per week, just because I do have to... Uh, focus on my school studies and make sure I don't fall behind so I'll only upload like every other day or every other three days or so so yeah I'm, I'll still be on the server throughout the week but I just won't have enough time throughout the days to actually be recording every single day and um, I know that sucks because I can't get a video out every day but I mean I'll try my best to uh, to do so and uh, if I don't then yeah basically I'm sorry for that, and uh, yeah, let's just continue. So basically, let's get started. Uh, for today's episode, um, let's see. For a reminder, guys, as a reminder, you can watch all of my videos in 1080p, so make sure you click that button on the very bottom right side of your screen, and you'll be able to watch my videos in high definition. So if you guys haven't been doing that already, click that uh, HD button, and yeah, let's get going. So uh, for today's episode... I'm actually going to be doing just a little bit of organizing, and then towards the end, I'm going to start looking for a raid, uh, which I will be using for my next episode. So I'll teach you guys once again, because I, I did a video, maybe like 20 videos back, where I did a tutorial on how to actually um, look for a raid and like the easiest way to find raids. But um, some people, well, obviously I've got a whole bunch of new subscribers now, so I've got to teach you guys how to how to get all those raids again. And uh, yeah, so we're just basically I'm gonna basically go through that, but I'm gonna start out with some organizing. As you, as you guys can see, we haven't really organized anything yet, like after our raids, because Matthew and Insan Insanity has gotten a little bit lazy. So yeah, today is Friday. I'm recording this on a Friday uh, morning. So Insanity is not here. He's still at school. I just don't have school today. So I decided to just basically... Just to basically record without him right now. And then he'll probably record with me tomorrow. So we've got all these ones organized. Like the cobble and stone and stuff. But like these are like... I guess these three. These, these three rows right here are, are dump chests. And we kind of just throw everything that we don't need in there. So, I mean, half of the stuff in here is junk, half of it I'd actually like to keep, so it's time to organize. Just remember, guys, organization is probably the best and easiest way that you guys could start making your way. Like, it's it's like a gateway. Like, you guys will easily become a top faction if you guys are well organized. If you guys aren't organized, it's just a lot harder to find everything. Like, as you can see, like, throughout my videos, if I ever need, like, a strength potion... If I ever need just like a block of cobble or like a stack of cobble, it's very easy to find it. Like I don't have to search through 20 different chests just to, uh, look at this, cook salmon, what the heck. I don't have to search through 20 different chests just to find, you know, a simple item such as like a shovel or, you know, some cobble, like something like that. So make sure you guys do take the time to actually organize your stuff. And then have a couple of chests that are just for plain dump chests. Like, I call them dump. Like, D-U-M-P. I call them dump chests because... Basically, like, when I'm in a raid, I literally just... Everything I loot, I just throw them in there. And then I set them... And, like, I basically just sort them at a future time period. So, as you can see, Insanity has been PvPing a lot. As you can see with all these walls. And then all of his... Uh, Prot 4 and uh, Prot 3 good stuff. He puts it, he just throws everything in here, which he organizes later. So that, yeah. So if you guys are not organized, I don't know. It's just, it makes it very hard for your faction to grow. Just because, um, you know, just the extra time that it takes to actually find out where things are in your, um, it's it's just very hard to find where things are located in, like throughout like if you especially if you have one of those bases where you have like chests everywhere and then the chests aren't labeled it's very hard to figure out what is in what and then when, like you're spending 5 minutes looking for a simple item and then you're just you're just going to have a bad day so basically yeah so you guys should stay organized it's a very i mean it takes like 10 15 minutes it it is sort of boring so 
if you guys really don't want to do it, I mean, it's all up to you. But the benefits of having your base organized and, like, all of your items organized just outweighs everything else. And uh, I think you guys should invest in the time to actually invest or in to actually, what is it called? Organize your items um, to just to make it easier on you and to make it easier on your faction. So, yeah, um, I upgraded my... Just while I talk, uh, I, if you guys can see here, I upgraded my chests for my Iron Golem farm, so it holds two times as many chests now. Like I, I fixed the, the hopper mechanism in the background, so like it basically adds another chest row where everything used to be. And I mean, it's really useful because I mean, this Iron Golem farm literally makes so much money. Like <laughs> a lot of, I've seen a lot of people start copying and uh, start implementing their own little Iron Golem farm into their bases. So. Uh, I'm actually happy of that. I mean, I won't be the only OP faction anymore on Factions Green, but, you know, that's how it is. Um, if you guys actually do take the time to uh, to make this farm, it's very much worth it. If you guys haven't already, check out that video a couple of videos back, and you guys will be able to see how I made everything. Um, so these stacked potions right here, you get these from the Bedrock Kit. So a lot of people were asking how to get stacked potions, because sta slash stack... I don't know, just my opinion, I removed slash stack just because it makes it makes PvPing not fun because like all the OP factions, like including myself, like we'd literally just do slash stack and then we'd have like five sets of prop four and then like and then like twenty stacks of potions and then it just makes PvP fi fighting like so so pointless just because you're you're basically just playing a game of who can outlast the other person which is i mean obviously if you're an op faction it makes it a lot easier on you because uh there's basically no point in fighting if you don't have a chance to die if if you can just constantly keep feeding yourself if you can constantly keep just giving yourself items you know so yeah that's some of the things we have to uh fix basically also with the repair all i feel like that needs to get fixed uh sometime soon you know what don't tell him sandy i'm gonna take a half of the stuff that he's uh that he's won this is protection for and then i'm gonna i'm gonna finish off my my armor chest up here um so basically uh let's see how i'm gonna do this i need more boots here i need what the heck so I like to keep my chest or all organized, especially if uh, if I'm just getting home from school and then all of a sudden Insanity will be like, Mark, we're in a faction war, get online, we need to start fighting. So then I'll basically just jump in here and I'll be able to quickly grab everything I need. So I mean, it's very useful, especially if you're, uh, if you have a bunch of chests like this, if you can organize everything nice and even, um, just makes your life easier. And then, uh, oh, that's protection three. Protection four. All right. So, yeah, take the time to organize, guys. It's not. It, it's not very time consuming. It's it, the benefits greatly outweigh all the time that you're gonna spend to actually do it. So take the time to organize. As you can see, I'm already basically done with all these chests. I still have to organize these chests upstairs, but you know I'll probably do that another time just because I don't wanna spend all video uh, organizing chests. Uh, just a quick update for everybody. Uh, I'm gonna go into fly right right here. So basically, I finished. I I I don't know if I finished finished, but I finished my iron golem farm. And it's uh, three rows of eight going down each. So three times eight times one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I pull out the calculator really quickly, let me get calculator 24 times 6 I have 144 iron golem spawners in here I've basically maxed out this room I mean I could expand it to make it uh, into even more but uh I don't want to just because this is already this is this already fulfills all of my needs and if you guys can see oh god if you guys can look really quickly just the rate of iron golem spawning from this massive farm is just enough Look, like there's just iron golems non-stop falling. So it's basically enough to cover what I need to, um, what's it called? What I need for my faction, and uh, it basically does everything that my faction needs, so I really don't need to add any more spawners. I mean, I could add an, a whole nother room over here just to make it, like, into a massive, like, 
250 iron golem spawner room but i mean there's no point because it does take some time to actually sell the ingots even with the self full inventory signs and as a reminder guys please 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 don't ask me to make you sell signs if i'm just online because i do like to actually play the game and i don't want to be working all the time and the only times that i will be actually making signs is uh is when i'm live streaming so make sure you guys do follow me when i do live stream and uh it'll make it a lot a lot simpler let's just say a lot simpler if um if if i'm only making signs during the live stream just because it's a i don't know it's just a lot easier for me if i if we just keep it that way because i do like enjoying uh the game so let us continue so i did a raid last episode on the end and they had like a double chest full of ender pearl or not ender pearls um what's that called enchanting bottles so i have all those enchanting bottles now and i don't i haven't used them yet but I'll, I'll probably plan on using them. What the heck? So, Insanity took all the Strength 2 potions and didn't even take the time to refill it. Okay, that's fine. Um, just grab some speed. Grab some Strength 8 minute. And let's go look for a raid. So, let's go Warp Wild. You can see there's some people here. You know, I'm going to potion up and kill some people really quickly. And then I'm going to run... I'm gonna run out and actually look for a raid. So this guy is gonna die. I don't think he even knows I'm following him. Oh, you're dead, sir. You are dead. Ooh, he dropped the head. I want that head. Where'd the head go? Nabil Sims head. All right, let us go out. So is anyone chasing me? No one's chasing me. And let's look for a raid. So I'm going to pause the video really quickly, guys, and then I'm going to go find a raid. And then um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the raid, but I'm going to scout out the raid on this episode just to see what is needed for that actual uh, what is needed for that actual raid. And then um, I'm, I might wait till Insanity. I'm not even sure if it's a decent raid or if it's a small raid. I'll do it myself. But if it's not too good i mean if it's a if it's an okay raid i'll raid it by myself and then get this video out to you guys so yeah i'll be right back in one second all right guys we are back and i seem to have found an interesting looking faction claimed land over here this is actually really really close to spawn so i know a lot of big factions don't make their amazing spawners right next to spawn so i'm actually quite interested in uh this this base right here so they have this little uh if you look at this feature they have a little box a three by three but then there's a corner that's not claimed so i want to i'm going to try to infiltrate the, their base what the heck is this their base with the, from that corner so uh i'm going to slowly make my way Towards that bottom left corner. And I think this faction is F Who Dang Lang. Do they have anyone online? Yeah, they have one, two, they have three members online, so I have to be a little bit careful. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna get into like a solo PvP battle here. But I'm gonna set my home here. I'm gonna grab some TNT supplies and then I'm going to figure out how to Alright, so this is the claim that they're in. I'm gonna set home F set home, wait set home raid f map off then i'm gonna go home i'm gonna drink an invisibility potion just do it be a little bit sneaky so they don't see my name and then basically we're gonna see if we can break in and then cause some havoc so i'm gonna have my potions ready i'm gonna i'm gonna bring two invis potions and then let's dump see so this is why the dump chests are useful guys so we can do a dump chest really quickly and then I'm going to put my axe away. Where does Matthew keep the axes? There's the axes. I need this. I need this. I'm going to drink an invisible potion right now. And then I also need raiding supplies. So I'm going to need to make some TNT. I don't really want to do that right now. So I'm going to steal some from Insanity. Hopefully he has some. Yes, Insanity. I love you. All right. I'm bringing two stacks of TNT. Um, I need, um, let's see, slab. So basically I'm grabbing raiding supplies right now, guys, just to get ready for that raid. Uh, where's our buttons? Alright, I think I am ready. So basically, yeah, so home raid. And let's do this. So I'm going to do FMAP on. 
So this is their claim right... Where is it? I think I have to walk this way. Over here. So this should be unclaimed land right here. Let me turn off F bypass because I was making signs for people. So where is their claim? This is claimed. This is claimed. This is unclaimed. So I can dig straight down basically right here and then go from there. So let's do this. I'm going to try to build safely down. I'm invisible, right? All right. So I'm going to slowly ma make my way down. Uh, most bases are around the Y10 height. So I'm going to go around that area. And then I'm going to just blow a big room. I, I need to set home raid slash F home F map. F map off. I need to get some arrows. Do I have any arrows up here? No. I know where some arrows are, so I'm going to grab some arrows so I can actually light the TNT when I'm making the room. So, let's grab some arrows, slash back, and let's make our way down again. So, this is their claimed land over there, and we are going to just go straight down. So, I'm going to look at my cords really quickly. I'm at Y36. I'm going to go to, like, Y... I'm going to go to Y20 and see where, what we can find there. Or no, well, like Y15. That's usually about the, the height that some of it, most bases are at. And if it's not, then we'll just basically... Do I see any names yet? No. Y, all right, Y15. This should be good. So I'm going to basically make a big TNT room here. Look how fast I mine. This is the Super Breaker skill, guys. Ooh. Ooh, what the heck? Slash T P Y Y. I'm gonna follow this. What the heck is this? This looks like a, a water elevator? Why do they have a water elevator here? Oh, I don't wanna be stuck. I don't wanna be stuck. That's not a good idea. I'm gonna go F home. I, I, I'm gonna need an ender pearl. Actually, let me follow this. If, let's see if I can follow this into their spawner room. Where's the exit that I just found? All right, here. What the heck? It's glitching. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. I'm glitched inside a block or something. Let me bring some ender pearls just in case I do get stuck. Alright, slot eat, slash back. Oh, there's a block there that I didn't see somehow. Alright, I'm going to take a quick risk here. And then, this is actually really fortunate. I do have some creeper eggs, so... I might be able to just get into their base without even having a TNT in. Hopefully this leads into their base. Ooh, I think it does. Guys, we're in. Slash set home raid. Uh, F map on. F enemy dang a lang. Alright, I'm going to potion up here. And then I'm going to slash F home. I'm gonna grab some creeper. Wow, I didn't even need TNT, guys. Oh my gosh, this is this is so. <laughs> this this raid has taken a turn. They they I found their little uh, I found their little what do, what do you call it? It's spring 32. I found their little what is that called? The water elevator right here, and it led me straight into their base. All right, so nobody's here right now. I know they I they. I've, they have three members on right now. It looks like they have water protected chests, so this will be a little bit hard to raid. It looks like they have a it's a spawner here. So I know I can break this one for sure. But I'm not sure about anything else. It looks like they have an iron golem farm here. And uh yeah, so it's a very small base as you guys can see, and then let's let's let us let us wreak some havoc. Alright, let's start over here. Hopefully they don't teleport without me seeing them here, so Set a creeper in here. Boom. Come on, blow up. Boom. Here we go. All right, making our way in. Ooh, they, ha they have some TNT. They have some junk that I don't really want. Ooh, I grabbed the TNT. Perfect. All right, let's do that. I don't need water buckets. It looks like a, just, it looks like a bunch of potion junk. I'm going to kill all these dogs buttle dinner i'm sorry buttles but you guys are not going to help your owners when they get here all right i'm going to give them i'm, I'm going to be a little mean today guys i'm going to blow up their spawner room 
Um, I'm going to eat a god apple so I have fire resistance. And then I'm going to swim through here and see if I can destroy this. It says AFK machine. Uh, they only have one spawner, so I'll feel, I feel bad if I destroyed that. So I'm not going to destroy their one spawner room. Boom. Blow up. Boom. All right. There's half of their stuff. Aaron... Yeah, so if you guys are selling creeper eggs on Factions Green, I do buy them for 10k a piece on here. So uh, if you guys are interested in doing that, you should. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Oh, this is the good stuff. This is the goodies. Hopefully I can loot everything before it despawns. Come on, come on, give me the good swords. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, these are just unenchanted diamond swords. Knock back. Oh, there's a sharp four sword. That's a good find. That is a really good find. Sharp five, sharp five. Nice. Good job. Smite one. I don't need a smite one sword. Smite one and breaking three. All right. I think that's... I guess that was their good chest. It says swords and armor. Can, I, I don't think I can break... I don't think I can break these ones. That's a thing. Because they're water protected, so... Their creepers shouldn't... Yeah, the creepers get basically don't um explode through the water protected chest so if i do want to raid this i'm actually going to set a home here later let's see if i can somehow blow this up come on oh no ah ah he's here he's here he's here oh maybe i can overclaim them f claim they're too strong they're too strong they're too strong. We're going to try to wait for him. He was why was he wearing no armor? All right, we're going to wait for him to come back. Hopefully he spawns inside here. Here he is. There he is. There he is. Where where do you go? Ah! All right, guys, we are going to overclaim him. F Ooh, Aaron's here too. Oh, they're both here. That means we can overclaim. That means you can overclaim. F who dang a lang. Um, 16, 10 power, they have 10 power, we can overclaim, guys, we can overclaim, we can overclaim, we can overclaim, F claim, F claim, yes, we can loot all these chests, F claim, oh, yes, baby, alright, let's, let's claim their F claim, let's claim their, see, everybody in the chat's like, oh, he's raiding, oh, he's raiding, oh, he's raiding, <laughs> alright, so, that was very unfortunate, they finally made their way back, F map off, F home. All right, so basically they they made their way back into their F home while I was in the middle of the raid, and I was able to kill them enough to get their power low. Ooh, purple die. I'm gonna keep that. So I was basically able to get their power low enough so that I could actually just kill them and then overclaim them, so then they wouldn't be spawning back into uh <coughs> back into uh their base. And then now I can claim all that stuff. So let me just dump everything into my dump chest. We can organize this again. This is why we have to organize so much, guys, because Insanity does a lot of raiding and then, like, does a lot of PvPing. So, like, all of this stuff... Oh, he's back, he's back! He's back, he's back! No, no, no! Ah, die, die, die! Oh, I got a head! I got a head! Ooh, where's he leading me? Where is this? Woo! All right, so this is their base overclaim, basically. Um, where, how are they getting back into here? I thought I claimed this. F claim. Your faction already owns this land. F claim. All right, I just have to make sure to unclaim everything. I just have to make sure I unclaim everything uh, before I before I leave. So yes, now we can open these chests. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Let's see. Power four bow. I'll take that. I'll take that. Power four bow is not too bad. It's easy to upgrade. Ooh, nether bricks. I need some more nether bricks because I am redecorating my house a little bit. So let's see what else we can find here that's worth taking. All right, are they coming back? I'm pretty sure I overclaimed everything. Efficiency three. That's not too bad. I'll take it. Why not? So this looks like junk. Ooh, diamond. Let's take that diamond. Uh, efficiency two. I'm, I'm basically just going to go through all these chests really quickly before I end the video. Look at all these heads. What the heck? Sharpness three. Food. More heads. Ah! I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. How is he? Does he have a home set here? I think he has a home set here. I'm going to god apple just in case he like comes back and just tries to rape me in one hit. So I think he has... Ooh! The goodies chest. Prop four. Here we go. 
Prot one, prot one, prot one, prot one. More enchanting bottles for the collection. Yes. Efficiency for X. Nice. All right. So slash back slash F home. All right. More prop four. So I'm basically putting back <laughs> the prop four that I stole from insanity. Dang it. All right. That's no big problem. We are one big happy family in this faction. So. All right. So let's see. Purple die, dandy the only. Oh, this is the person I just raided. So you, my friend. Oh, both of them. You, my friend, get to be on my head of walls. That is an honor for you. <laughs> there you go. Dandy, thank you guys for being players on our server. I am sorry, but raiding is part of the videos and part of the faction server. So we welcome you guys to build another base um yeah so this is it for today's episode guys i'm slowly just going to go through all of these chests and loot everything that's good and then i'll probably just blow up everything uh thank you guys for watching if you guys did like this solo raid video make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already uh this is dfield and uh it looks like there's nothing else to raid here so i'm gonna oh god they're back oh god cool connor's here Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, they can't even hurt me. Alright, that's cool. Alright, that's cool. Alright guys, so basically, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end the episode right here on a, on a note of, uh, ooh, they're all here. This is cute. They're not going to kill me. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm going to end the episode here and then get into this big, I, actually, you know what? I'm going to get into, I'm going to get into this fight. Let's do this, so. Let's put all this stuff away, get more god apples, and let's do this. You guys want to rumble? Let's rumble. Oh, I can unarm him. Oh, he has iron grip. No, I can't. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. Let's got apple real quickly. Oh, there we go. So they're basic. They're in my claimed land right now. So basically, what happens if they're in my claimed land is they they uh. Oh, Aaron's back with armor too. <laughs> He just got destroyed. <laughs> he got destroyed. That was funny. <laughs> he teleported in and got uber destroyed. All right. I'm going to focus in on these non-donators here. And I, I, it doesn't look like he ate a god apple. So, boom. Look at that. Another prop four set. <laughs> Aaron's back. Aaron's back with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's trying to run away from me. Uh-uh, you ain't running. You ain't running from me. You started this fight. You decided to try and help them. Cool, Connor. I am now in bad terms with you. I thought we were cool. Uh-uh. They, they, they took their spawner, so that's a good thing for them. But, uh-uh. You, you, you just started a fight, and now we are going to fight. Critical hit. Enemy damage reduced by 30%. So he's trying to run into the lava here. I don't know what he's trying to do. How's my armor looking? I have unbreaking theory, so I should be fine. Look at that knockback. Oh, this is just sweet. So I just got an extra three sets of prot three and stuff. Where did he go? What the heck there he is. So I was going to end the episode right there, and they decided to try to TP people in. And <laughs> now we're in a big, huge PvP war, which is kind of funny. So I'm basically going to try to break all of his armor. Hopefully he's not one of those uh, obsidian donated. Ooh, Halo's back. Halo's back and he thinks he can fight. Connor's going to try to TP away. Connor's going to try to TP away, but that's fine. Go ahead. You can TP away. I don't care about you. <laughs> he thinks I actually care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a little tap right here. <laughs> Oh, Halo's back. Halo's back too with his little with his little uh, chests and whatnot. His little prop three or prop two iron, whatever. All right. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. I just got an extra three sets or two sets of prop four and prop three. So thank you for donating those sets to my collection, Cool Connor and Halo. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm gonna call it quits right here as this episode is getting a little bit long. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, we will see you guys later.